Okay, so you're thinking of buying a Galaxy Tab S9 series tablet and you realize that there are three great options, but Samsung actually did something this year to make the decision even harder. So let's talk about all the important differences. This way you can have all the information that you need to choose the right Tab S9 series tablet for you. Starting out, we have the Tab S9, which got the most significant changes in this year's lineup. It retails for $799 and right now using the links in the description, you can actually double the storage and get 50% more RAM for the same price, but we'll come back to that later. So over the past few years, Samsung didn't give the best displays to the smallest versions like the Tab S7 and the Tab S8. It was still a very nice display, but it was an LCD display. Now this year, the Tab S9 got the same upgrade as its two bigger siblings, and now it's sporting an amazing dynamic AMOLED 2X display. It's an 11 inch, 120 hertz display with a resolution of 1600 by 2560, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and 274 pixels per inch. The display gives you the choice between a static 60 hertz or adaptive 120 hertz, where the tablet changes in real time based on what you're doing. And this way you can save on battery life when you're looking at static content and you can get smooth and responsive animations when you're interacting with the UI, playing games or doing anything else where a faster refresh rate offers the optimal user experience. This display has noticeably darker black levels than the previous models. It has better color accuracy, better contrast, and reduced blue light emission. The Tab S9 comes in graphite or beige, and looking around the edges, we see four speaker grills with four AKG tuned speakers. In terms of audio quality, they're quite good for this size tablet, and they work well for watching content and for games that don't require you to quickly identify where sounds are coming from. Obviously, for those types of games, you're better off using headsets. And there's a speaker test of all three tablets later on in this video when I talk about the Tab S9 Ultra. Now back to the Tab S9, we're getting a USB-C for charging and connecting accessories. And there's a micro SD card slot, which allows you to expand the internal storage by up to one terabyte. Now, speaking of accessories, the Tab S9 comes with a Bluetooth enabled S Pen. We're getting lower latency than last year's model, and it has bi-directional charging, so it doesn't matter which way you snap it to the back. But both the tablet and the S Pen have an IP68 rating, so you're getting protection from water and dust. And the Tab S9 is compatible with two keyboard cases from Samsung, the book cover keyboard and the book cover keyboard slim. For biometric authentication, we got another upgrade from last year, and now we've got an outstanding under display fingerprint sensor to go along with facial recognition. This year, we also got a really impressive upgrade in performance with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, which has better single core performance than last year's model, and even greater improvement in multi-core and GPU performance. And the new Qualcomm chip also helped improve battery life. So on top of getting a larger battery this year at 8,400 milliamp hours versus 8,000, we're also getting a more efficient chip. And I'm finishing up a detailed battery drain test of all three models. I'll also put the Tab S8 series test in the description if you wanna check out those results. The Tab S9 gives us outstanding multitasking capabilities with three tiled apps at the same time, pop-up windows, and then of course, DeX. If you're not familiar with it, DeX essentially reboots the tablet and gives you an operating system that's very similar to a desktop OS. You're getting a taskbar, a desktop with icons, multiple windows, you can snap windows, and you can use a keyboard case to transform your tablet into more of a laptop replacement. You can also connect an external display, keyboard, and mouse, and then run a super capable dual display setup. Now, one other great option is to use the Tab S9 as an additional display for your laptop or desktop with Samsung's second screen. This is a super handy feature when you travel. For cameras, we're getting a 13 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. And for connectivity, we're getting Wi-Fi 6E compatibility, just like with the two larger models. Now looking at the configuration options, the 128 gigabyte model comes with eight gigs of RAM and the 256 gigabyte model comes with 12 gigs of RAM. Now remember that you can use the links in the description to get that upgrade for free, which is something that I would highly recommend doing. Ultimately, this is an extremely powerful and capable tablet at this price point. It's also a great option for someone who values portability, for users who prefer this size for gaming, or for users with smaller hands who 
find a smaller tablet easier to handle. Moving on to the Tab S9 Plus, which starts out at $999, we're essentially getting the same design, but in a larger form factor. We're now getting the same type of display, Dynamic AMOLED 2X, but it's larger at 12.4 inches. We're getting a higher resolution at 1752 by 2800, the same aspect ratio of 16 by 10, and a slightly lower pixel density, but not something that's really noticeable in terms of sharpness. Now, watching content on this display is fantastic. The image quality is outstanding, and since the aspect ratio is so close to the image that's being displayed, they're very small black bars at the top and the bottom. Also, if you fill to zoom, you're getting a very minor crop, and then the image covers the entire display and looks great. Again, we're getting four AKG tuned speakers, but these are warmer and fuller than the ones on the Tab S9. We're getting the same USB-C 3.2 ports, same Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E compatibility, but a larger battery than the Tab S9 at 10,090 milliampere hour. And like all three tablets, we're getting fast wire charging at 45. Watts. Now, keep in mind that none of these tablets come with a charger, and I'll put some links in the description to a few of my favorites. We have the same options for biometric authentication with an under-display fingerprint sensor and facial recognition. We're getting the same S Pen with the same low latency and the same IP68 protection for the S Pen and the tablet. Now, even though we have the same multitasking features, the larger display on the Tab S9 Plus gives it the edge over the smaller Tab S9. And that's true for multiple tiled apps, for Dex, and when we're using it as an external display. When it comes to gaming, this model might be the sweet spot in terms of size. You're getting a larger display, but it's not too big, so it's great for handheld games and when you want to connect a controller and then stream some games using the Xbox Game Pass app. It has the same 13 megapixel front-facing camera as the Tab S9, but in addition to the 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, it also has an 8 megapixel ultra-wide. We're getting the same powerful quality Qualcomm Snapdragon chip, but the Tab S9 Plus starts with 256 gigabytes and 12 gigs of RAM. And again, right now you can double the storage and get the 512 gigabyte model for the same price. The Tab S9 Plus is right there in the middle. It's giving you a noticeably larger display, a slightly better camera module, better speakers, a larger battery, and more storage. All right, so now we move on to the Tab S9 Ultra, which starts out at $1,199. It's the biggest tablet that Samsung makes, and it's what some people would say is inarguably the best display on any tablet. Now, whether you agree or not, if you've had a chance to use this tablet in real life, you have to admit that this display is spectacular. It's massive at 14.6 inches, still dynamic AMOLED 2X, 120 hertz. It has the highest resolution at 1848 by 2960, the same 16 by 10 aspect ratio and a pixel density of 239. Now, surprisingly, the Tab S9 Ultra is the thinnest of all three tablets. It's not by a lot, but when you couple the larger size with the thinnest tablet, the user experience is that of using some sort of a futuristic display. And I'll admit that it's probably not for everyone. It's definitely the least portable option. Although, honestly, for me, I always carry it in my backpack, so it doesn't really impact me in that context. But there is one specific area where it's actually too big, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Now, we're getting all the same biometric features, the same connectivity, same IP68 rating, but we do see another change when it comes to the camera module. So we have the 13 megapixel wide and the 8 megapixel ultra wide that we saw on the Tab S9 Plus on the back of the tablet. But on the front, we're now getting two 13 megapixel cameras with a wide and an ultra wide. We're also getting a small notch, which is something that I feel like I have to address. So I've heard both sides of the argument and my perspective, in short, is that it just doesn't matter. The display is so big and the notch is like this big. It's so tiny that I never really notice it. Now, of course, if it's something that you're gonna be fixated on, then it's not really the tablet for you and you should probably go with something like the Tab S9 Plus, but it's just never really been an issue or in the way for any of the ways that I use this tablet. The Tab S9 Ultra is right now my favorite tablet to watch content on. The fact that I can get an image to be this big, this close to me is super impressive. We're also getting the best audio quality using the built-in speakers, and here's a quick sample from all three tablets. Hold me close. 
push till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Getting the largest battery of all three at 11,200 milliamp hours, but of course it has to power the largest display. So I'm super excited to show you my battery test and make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. For multitaxing, DeX, and second screen, this is the best option because it's such a useful size and you can have so much content on it and you can really improve your productivity. Now, the one area where this tablet was too big for me was when I'm playing PUBG and holding it in the air. It just feels cumbersome and my hands get pretty tired after a couple of games. Now, if you play with a tablet flat on the desk or on a pillow, then that's another completely different story. And in that case, I love having the larger display because it's easier to see smaller movements. It's definitely the best tablet to use with a controller because it's like having a super light and portable TV with you anywhere you go. For configuration options, it starts out with 256 gigabytes of internal storage and 12 gigs of RAM. And again, you can double the storage right now for the same price. And if you go to one terabyte, you also get bumped up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you want the biggest tablet with the biggest display for watching content, if you multitask, use your tablet as a laptop replacement with DeX or use it for second screen. And if you want the largest gaming display Samsung offers in a tablet, get yourself a Tab S9 Ultra. It's probably my favorite tablet in the lineup. And this display just puts a smile on my face every time I use it. And whenever a new person sees me using it for the first time, it's super obvious that there is something very special about this tablet. Now you should check out this comparison. Hopefully this video was helpful. Click on my face to subscribe. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.